Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. Um, oh, excuse me. I just bumped my whole table here. Are you still with me? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I am working on a project today. And I just thought that I would show you what I'm doing. Because somebody else may be in this same situation. And maybe you're not sure what to do. I wasn't sure what to do, but this is what I'm doing. You may remember, um, well, it was just about a year ago, I made this journal for my trip with my granddaughter to Greece. And initially, I made the journal to write in. My thought was each night of the trip, I would sit before going to bed and write what we did that day and, and everything. Well, that didn't really work out. <laughs> um, so I decided to, when we got back from the trip, I was going to put pictures and memorabilia and some journaling about the trip in here. So I started to do that, but it very quickly, very quickly got, I mean, it was like, it was like this and I was only, it was like, like this. And I was only like four days into the trip. So I knew that this was just too small. So what do you do when you've made a journal too small? You've already started working in it and you just know that it's not going to be sufficient for what you're doing. Well, I thought about it and I decided to make a bigger journal. So I made a bigger journal. And you can see the difference in in the journals. And this one had two signatures. And this one has three signatures. And I think I put fewer pages in each signature, but there's more signatures. So in total, there's more pages. And of course, they're bigger. So this sat on my table here for a long time months <laughs> until finally one day I said, okay, I have got to work on this journal. I've got to do this. I can't just have this sit here forever and ever. The more time goes by, the more I'm going to forget about it and, and I need to get it done. So I started, I started taking pages from the small journal and putting them into the bigger journal. And at first, and I think I was scared to, and that's why I didn't do anything. Um, but once I got into it and once I started doing it, it just flowed and it renewed my passion for doing the journal. So I was worked on it and I worked on it for a couple of days and um, finally it dawned on me, Mary, maybe you should like do a video of what you're doing because there's different methods that I use to, to take the things from this journal and put them into this journal. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you what I have done so far and I'm going to show you just kind of do a craft along where you can work along with me doing your own thing and you can see how I manage this, this dilemma of a too small journal. So this one, it doesn't look it's flattened out now because I've taken half of the stuff out of it. Um, but I'm sure that I've shown it in a couple of previous videos for one reason or another. Um, and this one, as you can see, it's, it is already getting fat, but I, I don't mind because it's got a good, good support here. There's enough room for this thing to, it's, it's flexible so it can kind of like wrap like I think it's going to work I think it's going to be okay so what have I done so far I'm just going to I'm not going to do like a flip through because the pages aren't finished they're not decorated what I'm trying to do is just get the pictures in there and get the events in there and then I'm going to go back and decorate everything so these are just things that I've transferred already from this journal into this journal. Now this was a, a mailing envelope and it's not a bubble envelope, but it's one that has the padding in it. Um, 
I had a little trouble with it going through my sewing machine, but I don't care. It, it looks funky. It looks kind of cool. So I covered the outside and the inside of it with fabric and just sewed and pinked the edges. Very simple, very quick. Um, and I like it. I like the look. I like the feel. I made a, a pocket here. So there's a pocket here and here. These I transferred from the small journal. And all of this stuff was in the small journal and I moved it over here. Now I've been able to rearrange it a little bit because I have more space. And I'm really happy that I'm going to have enough space to go back and decorate also. This was a page I was having trouble with because I had this napkin that I wanted to use in a very small space. And I wasn't sure what to do with it or how to use it. But in doing this one, I figured it out. And it's just, I just folded it in there. Um, I wanted to keep the name of the restaurant on there because that, I mean, that's the whole point of having the napkin. And this is the restaurant. So this is the first restaurant we went to when we got to um, Athens. And um, this page had not been done yet in this book. I had skipped it. Now this page, this page I had written on the page in, the, in this one. So I was like, well, I have no choice but to take the whole page out. Otherwise, I either have to rewrite everything and redo it, which I could have done. That's one way to do it. But I kind of wanted to preserve what I had already written and already done. So I just ripped the whole entire page out of the book and I put it into this one with washi tape. It looks like it's just another page in the book, but it's actually attached to a page that's in the book, which I, it worked out like really, really well. I had this washi tape that's got um, clouds and hearts on it. And this is a picture of my granddaughter, her first, uh, expression <laughs> as the plane is taking off it was her first time flying so and then our view of Greece from the air so the washi tape fit perfectly with it the colors went everything just it flowed and I was so excited when I was able to do this page without taking apart the original page I just stuck it in here and it gave me one extra page over here I'm going to go back and see if I can find another picture or two to put in there or maybe I've run into something, or maybe I've got something in my box, some memento or something that can go there. And then this page, this page was just like this in the other book. I just recreated it. Um, this little bag was attached with washi tape, so I just reattached it with the same washi tape. I had this in here like this, and so I just put it in there. But in this book, I have some extra space for some journaling. So that I'm really, that worked out really well too. This page, that's just a note to myself. That's not going to stay there. Um, this was a pocket in the other book. So I managed to take just the pocket off and reattach it. And these were in the pocket. So I just stuck them back in there. So that worked again just it everything just worked because I had already created the page I just needed to move it and once I got past the fear of tearing this book up I was okay with it because don't be afraid to do it because what happens is so for example here's where I had a picture I couldn't get the whole pocket off so I took the picture off that's fine um this I couldn't why did I not reuse this envelope? I don't know why I didn't reuse the envelope. I got another envelope and redid the whole thing. I don't know why. But you can see the page got torn up. I'm okay with all of that. Here's where I had to take a picture out. I had to tear the page trying to get something off over here. So it, did, it got torn up, but... Working in this journal, I have only used the first signature. I never even got into the second signature. And it was already too big. So what I'm going to do 
is just take the whole signature out. And if I want to reuse the cover, I can just sew another signature in. It's no big deal. And then with this signature, I just take out the pages that are no good anymore and put new pages in. So I was fretting about this whole thing for, for nothing. I don't have to waste the cover that I made and that I like. I don't have to waste the signature. I don't have to waste every single page. It's, it's all good. So don't be afraid to do that if you're in that situation. Um, this is going to go here, but before I put it in there, I'm going to look and see if I have any more pictures of this. This was their tomb of their unknown soldier, like we have in Washington, and the, we watched the changing of the guards. I couldn't get really good pictures because there were too many people and I couldn't get close enough, but I have a couple that I might be able to put another picture on this page. So that's just a holding there. This I took right out of the other album. It's just a flip up. And again, this in the other album probably like took up the whole page. But in here, I've got some room to do a little bit of a little bit of decorating. And this one I, was a pocket. But I couldn't get it out, so I did have to make a new pocket, which turned out even better because <laughs> When I searched for paper to make a new pocket, I found this paper. I don't know if you can tell very well in the on camera, but the paper, it's one of those realistic photograph scrapbook papers, and it's marble, which is what this stadium, all of these, the seating in the stadium, all of this back here. I don't know if you can see that. All of this, and the seats, everything is marble very very slippery um, so when I saw this paper I was like oh my god that's perfect it's even better than the first journal so that worked out perfectly I was just so happy with this whole thing this whole thing just worked out exactly the way that I had hoped it would um, these I just transferred over from the other book um, this is a a little booklet that I had made to hold extra pictures and I have space to add some or my journaling or whatever I decide to do with it um, and it just works it just works this page I had I had I had these two pictures they wouldn't fit well on a page in the other book so I had to I cut one and I overlapped them and made this pocket now I had more room here but I decided to just do the same thing because it was already done. So I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. So that's what I did. I just, just moved it from there to here. That's pretty simple. Now some of these I have notes on what the things are so that I can go back and, and put the titles or do my journaling and stuff. This was our ticket to get in. These were all... I think they're like national parks that that we went to and so all the tickets kind of look the same and at first my granddaughter and I when we you know we had like thrown all our memorabilia all together and stuff and at first when we were going through this stuff we come across all these tickets and we're like well how do we know what ticket is for what but we studied it <laughs> it is all um mostly in Greek now, she studied Greek, but she's not fluent in it, so she can't, like, read all of it. She can read some of it, but not all of it. Um, but it does say there is a, uh English section here that says Acropolis and Slopes. So we're able to tell on the tickets what it was, even though they're all in Greek. But it's really cool to have. This is a cool piece of ephemera. Um, this I just transferred it over, except in the other book, the matting behind this picture was green. It was this color. And because I was putting it next to this pink page, I felt like the green wasn't going to go. So I took the picture off. And, and remember, 
if if your pictures are digital, you can always reprint your picture. If you can't get it off, if you tear it, you ruin it, whatever, you can always reprint the picture. Keep that in mind when you're doing something like this, that the pictures aren't, unless you're using original pictures from like a film camera or something and it's your only picture, um, you can always take it to your thing and scan it if you need to, but the pictures aren't the part that's uh, that I was worried about saving. It was the pages that I had done. So anyway, so I re-matted this picture onto the pink to pull out the pink of the flowers. But in the other book, I had this tag in there. And this tag, this is a picture of the Acropolis as we saw it from the roof of our hotel room, our hotel. Um, and I had put it in here because this is all Acropolis stuff. And it's a map of Greece too, if you can see that. And so I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, this doesn't, this doesn't go. But then I put it in the pocket and look at this part goes perfectly with this page. So it ties it together. It pulls them together. As soon as I put that in the pocket, I was like, oh yes, that works. So that I was happy with. Then I get to this one. This is inside the um, Acropolis Museum and this is the statue of Athena. And I tried to, this is the, this picture here is this sign right here. And so I tried to just lift it out of the book, but I couldn't get this part, the pictures off of the paper. So I thought, okay, I'll just take the whole page. So I started to take the whole page and, and of course I ripped it and stuff. So I said, Mary, go with it. Just go with it. So I decided to distress it even more. It was a coffee stained or some kind of dyed paper. So I decided to just distress it even more and put it in as the matting for the picture. And I like it. I... Now, it can use a little bit more decoration, and I'll get back to that, but just transferring it from there to here, I like how this came out. This this mimics the statue, I think. And I love it. It looks so much better than it did in the other book. I was, like, so excited about it. As I'm working on this, I'm getting on a roll, and I'm moving along, and I'm just doing and doing, and, and then it dawned on me, wait, I should do some of this on camera. I better stop. So I did stop right there <laughs> so that I could do the next pages. So my next page where I left off, I think I can just transfer it over because it is this, the Corinth Canal. And I think, hopefully... I can just get the picture off and just move it over. If not, I can reprint this. I don't want to have to do that because, you know, I have to stop what I'm doing, go, you know, turn on the computer, find the picture, which among thousands of pictures, I do have them in folders on my laptop according to the, each day. So I can find things pretty easily, but I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to work at getting this picture off of here. I'm not going to worry about if I tear the paper or not. I'd rather not because then I can use it. But if I do, I'm not going to worry about it. This is a little spatula thing that went with my old Cricut. <laughs> trying to sell the Cricut, but I'm keeping the spatula. It comes in handy. You know, you can use anything. And also um, dental floss, maybe. If you run it underneath a picture, you might be able to, to separate it. But this works. This works pretty well. And I'm not sure exactly what I used to glue these in here. I think different things on different days, depending on when I was working on it. So you just kind of carefully remove the picture.
you know, when, when I worked on this the first time putting it in here, it takes time to work on a page, you know, even if it's something simple like this, because like for this, I had to go find the letters in the right color and the right size and a set that had the right letters left in it. So I want to also try to save this, which I don't know if I can because, oh, look, that's even easier. <laughs> so I wanted to try to save that because that was a glue stick. I can feel it because then I have, if I, if I can't save it, I have to go back and find the letters again and redo it. And it, now that I know it's easy, I can just kind of whip right through. And then the next one is this place, and I don't remember the name of it. It's something I'm going to have to research. But I have a lot of pictures from there. Um, so I have to... Well, we'll get to that. Let me do this first. Now, before I put this in here... No, I think I'll just do the one picture. I have other pictures, but they're all very similar. And I, I picked the best picture for this. So I think I'm going to just keep this picture. But I think what I'm going to do maybe is matte it again in a blue, I think. Just to have it stand out from the page a little bit more. Or oh, here's a green. How would it look under on green green kind of pulls it out too but because the water was so blue I think I want to stick with blue let me find a blue and see how it goes I have a blue right handy I'm gonna have to dig that up somewhere um let's see I have so many containers of paper. This is one that doesn't have a real home. It just kind of sits over here. So if I can use these up as much as I can and get rid of this container, that would be nice. All right, I have this turquoise, but now I want blue, blue. So I hope you are all getting some crafting done. I had quite a uh, crafter's block for quite a while there, but I think I'm back in the game. I feel like I am, so I have no blue in here. Have I already used up all the blue in this box? This is what I have to go through to find something sometimes. So those are grays. Those are neutrals. This is mosaic. Ooh, shiny. We don't want those. Those are all shiny. Okay. Um, I have other sources. I have no fear. I do have blue paper. I just have to put my hands on it. see if I could get it so you can see what I'm talking about. These paper holder thingies. You know what these are? Yeah. I have many of these. They are somewhat sorted by color. This particular one that I have in my hand is a variety of colors because it's where I put leftover pages. Hmm. I don't think that's quite the right color. It's a pretty color, but I think I want more like that. So anyway, this one that I have in my hand is a whole bunch of different colors. No. So I have to kind of really paw through it.
That's shiny. Um, it doesn't really do anything for this, does it? I don't think so. Oh, that's another shiny one, only it's a darker blue. Um, this, this container I have in my hand tends to be one sheet of each thing. No, that's not going to work. Because it's leftovers from other projects. I, I have all these blues in here. I, I know you can't see what I'm looking at, and I wish that I could show you better, but so there's a, how about that one? But that's more turquoise, isn't it? But that's all right. Let me just see if I have something that's closer to the watercolor. Nope, it's too green. All of this searching just to match a color. But that's what I do. That's, that's just how I do it. Oh, I know there's one in here somewhere. There's got to be. What is this one? What do we think about that one? All right, do we like that better? It's a little subdued. And this one's a little darker. You know what, I'm gonna go with that one, I think. What's opposite? Nothing, nothing I need to worry about. I'm gonna go with that one. I think so. I don't know if it really best um, makes the water pop, but I think it the color's the best one that without sitting here all day long looking through all my paper. I'm gonna just go with this one. Okay. All right, let me move this over for a second. So I used glue on this before. I'm going to use um, double-sided tape. That's what I've been using on my pictures lately. It seems to be like a cheaper off uh, option and I think it'll hold pretty well I haven't had any problems with it so far it's just this scotch double-sided tape get it at Walmart I have my ATC thing that I do use also but it's expensive, so when I'm dealing with a lot of pictures, I don't want to, like, uh, waste it, I guess. Now, I have to apologize if you can hear that noise. My husband is mowing the yard. I thought he was going to be in the back, but it sounds like he's right near my window. <laughs> so... Sorry about that noise, but it's just background noise. You can probably barely hear it. Better than a dog barking or something. Or some annoying sound. And I think I'm going to put this on one, two. I'm trying to decide what glue to use on this because this was um, 
glue stick that I used and it's kind of a little bit tacky but boy it sure didn't hold which is weird maybe I'll just use a piece of tape Now I could um, save some space on the page for journaling. Oh, boy, that's crooked, isn't it? No, it's not crooked. It's just not the right size. That's okay. I'm not gonna not gonna worry a whole lot about it when I gosh sometimes when I do my scrapbooking not so much anymore but I used to something like this you see how this is wider down the bottom than at the top here something like that would have really bugged me I would have had to keep cutting or doing it over until I got it exactly right <laughs> no kidding it was I was that obsessive about the whole thing all right so if I do I'm thinking if I maybe cut myself a little thing to do some journaling on, I can journal about this. Maybe if I cut it, like put it here and then just put a piece of white over it. Or should I stagger? Nah, that wouldn't look good. I think I'll just do it like that. And then I could put some trim or something over here or yeah, and I'm going to use this width, I think. So, I'll cut it at, see, one and three quarters, almost two. I'll just do just like under two. I think that would be good. Yep. Then I'm going to leave this out. Get a piece of white. Oh gosh, look at that. That is perfect. Now, if, when I get to, to working on doing the decorating and the journaling, if I find that I don't have enough room or um, I don't like what I left available to myself, I can, now I'm not afraid to take something out and redo it. Like, for example, say, let me move these things. On this page, if I decide for some reason that I don't like something. Now I'm not afraid to take it out and tear it up or something because um, I've done it. I've, I've torn up a book and redone it and I know I can do it and it'll work out very nicely. Now there's options here. I can do it like that. I could do it like this. Hmm, I kind of like that too. Or I could do it like this. I actually think I like it like this. That's gonna be it. All right. Um. Let me glue this onto here. Now, I know this might be just, you know, a little tad bit boring to you. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But um, my hope, my purpose, really, of this video was to show you how to move something from one journal into another if you found that your journal was too small. 
not necessarily showing you what I'm doing on each page because I do think that's probably boring, but it's how I'm, I'm getting from point A to point B here. So bear with me. This is not gonna work. Okay, so that's going here. It's going here. Where's my other piece? And that's going on the top. I'm going to start at the bottom, put it up. And I guess I'll use the good glue. Although the good glue was pretty easy to take out of the other book. <clears throat> it really was. Um, so, but if you don't try to take it out, maybe it'll stay. You know what I mean? Maybe it is strong, but also giving, which is a good thing. Because you know how we get those old, uh, the old scrapbooks, and they use some kind of glue that you can't get those suckers off of there. <laughs> so maybe it, this is a good thing. And hundred years or so, when somebody finds this in an antique shop, they can take it apart. Okay. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have glued that on. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I shouldn't have glued that on. Because now it's going to be hard to write on there. Well, that's all right. I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll take the white part off and write on it and put it back on. Because I know I can do that now. This was kind of a cool place. It was just like a um, rest stop on our, our travels. And um, they stopped. We had been on a bus for a couple hours. We had a couple more to go. This was kind of a midway point in where we were going. And um, so we stopped and went to the bathroom and there was a little, um, like a deli cafe there. And it was right after the bridge going across this canal. So we could walk over to the canal, stand on the bridge and take these pictures and stuff. And then on the other side, they had like, um, I don't know, like bungee jumping or something like that into the canal. We didn't see anybody doing it at the time that we were there, but it was kind of an interesting, it was just like a little roadside place. It wasn't even like a big place or anything, but the, the canal is like a well-known big thing. Now, maybe there's other spots along the canal that are um, more have more of an attraction or something there I don't know but where we were it wasn't it was just a little place but it was cool I bought a pashmina there there was somebody there that had like a little vendor booth set up and they were selling souvenirs and stuff and I, I bought a pashmina there very pretty I've never used it <laughs> um okay so I had these things this is this is from Athens. These were given to us by somebody at on the, the trail going up or down the Acropolis. They were passing these out. I think they're religious stuff, but it's a little calendar and a bookmark. Well, that's a calendar too. Um, so I just, I had them in a pocket in the other one. So I thought I would take a, and make another pocket here. And then this is sunset. Oh, I could make this into a pocket and just put these things in the in that in that pocket. I could do that. This was the sun setting. Um, 
over Athens. This was taken from the rooftop of the hotel also. It was our last night there. So I think I'm going to just put a pocket here and put this on there. In fact, I could just use that because it goes. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I need to measure this. Maybe five and a half by, uh, it has to be. Four and a half, I think we'll do it. Five and a half by four and a half. I think I made it too small. Um, I think I can make it work. Why did it, is that the right size? <laughs> Why does that look too small? It's five and a half. I should have made it like six. I'm gonna redo it. Four and a half. I know you're thinking, gosh, you're wasting all that paper. I'm not wasting. I'll use it. And believe me, I have enough. <laughs> That's better. All right. Don't worry, I will use these for something. I always do. I have all of these are scraps of things that I will use at some point. Cut this picture down. So I think I'm going to just round these corners just to give it a little bit of some kind of personality. I'll put a notch in it. And again, I will come back at another time and decorate more. Um... Right now, I'm just trying to get things in book. This is, you know, it's been a year since we've been on this trip, so this has been quite a long um, process getting these, these books done. And, uh, you know, I don't want to rush it. I don't want it to be like a sloppy, bad job or anything like that. But I've... It, it's been so long and I spent so much time not working on it that now I'd like to work on it and just work on it until it's done. I tend to get distracted and do other things and then something doesn't get done and yeah, it's... And what I may end up doing with this also is um, making a journaling card and putting a journaling card in here along with the other things telling about the rooftop we went up there the last night that we were there and um, I had a glass of wine and Alyssa had uh, Sprite or whatever and we sat up there and watched the sunset when the sunset started we went over and took pictures and 
it was nice. It was nice. It would have been nice to like actually be able to socialize with the other people in the group, but both Alyssa and I are um, introverts, quite introverts, and uh, we don't we don't mesh well in groups. <laughs> Now, if one of us was an extrovert and one was an introvert, the extrovert could pull the introvert out, but because we're both introverts, ugh, didn't work well for us as a group member. We were, <laughs> we were just there. We were part of the group, but we weren't. But it was all good. We enjoyed ourselves anyway. I'm thinking maybe put that there instead of in the pocket. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the pocket for now and then um, figure out what to do with it later. Okay. That was the Corinth Canal. Now we're on to the next thing. All right. Which was this place. Um, I have to look up. See, I just put the pictures in here. I didn't put any other information in here. So I'm going to have to look up in my notes and stuff and get the name of this place. But I have, so I have one, two, three, four, five pictures. This one I had made into a pocket. I can use up this, this, and this this one if I need to um, so how do I want to do this maybe I'll just take these pictures out and then just start fresh because there's nothing special here um, I had put this washi tape on just for decoration so that doesn't have to stay it's not like serving any purpose other than decoration And I definitely have more washi tape. All right, so that I put in with a glue stick. I can feel the, the tacky glue stick on the back and it lifted right up. So, oh, oh, where's my pin? Did I tell you about solving my, my pin problem? <laughs> Previous videos, I complained so much about not having a, a decent pin and this thing not working right and oh blah 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 I broke down and I just ordered new tips and pins that actually go with the art glitter glue so now I have some spares and it works <laughs> and it's not rusty I should have just done that to begin with so I'm all good with my glue now oh that's why I put the washi tape there it did have a purpose was covering up the brad. So my thought process in doing this, doing this with these pictures in here, the pages were so small, I couldn't put the pictures going this way. And I didn't want to have to tilt the book to see them. So I put them like this, so we could tilt the picture to see it. I thought that was a good idea. And I still like that idea. And I still may do it if I don't have room. I think I did do it once. See, these were all put in with a glue stick. And look. <laughs> now this one probably used our glitter glue. Yeah. But it's coming right up. Now I am tearing a little bit of the a little bit of it, but that's okay. It's all, it's still intact. And like I said, I'm not concerned with this um, paper in here because I'll just redo the whole entire signature. I mean, I'm trying to be careful, but if it does rip, something rips, I'm not stressing about it. Tell me when you can't see me. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I can get that 
that off. Yeah, that'll come off easily. Okay, that's that's not this time though. That's the next day. All right. So here we are at this place. Um, this and this go together. See, this picture will fit on here, but it won't fit with this picture. So what I could do, this can be moved over a little bit there so that I would have enough room to make a flap right here. Open this up. I could do journaling or whatever there. Maybe even another picture. Um, let me think. I kind of want all these pictures. I don't want to take up tons of space though. So maybe what I'll do is make a flap on each side. And then I could put journaling and identify different things. I'd even have room for another picture. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two flaps here and here. And you're probably saying, well, why aren't you going like to the next page? I could go to the next page. However, I don't want... I've got, this is a 14 day trip, so I need, I don't want to run out of, of pages. I don't think I will, but I don't, I want to make sure that I don't. And if I have extra pages, I can always just add more pictures. You know what I mean? So I don't want to use them up right here. Um, it looks like I only have a few more minutes, so I'm going to just show you real quick how I'm going to make this flap. Um, and look, I have a piece of paper right here, that <laughs> that's perfect for it, I think. It goes with this green background. I think that'll work. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to this. And I'm going to use this because, boy, that glue stick just does not, did not stick. I mean, it didn't fall out, but I sure could pull it up pretty easily. Now, this is bulky in itself because... This picture is already matted onto another piece of paper. So now I'm putting it on yet another piece of paper. But that's all right. That's, I'm not, I think I've got enough room to handle those little bits of bulk like that, I think. All right, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. Probably about like that. And I'm gonna score it. Mm, not that one. No, that's gonna be that one. <laughs> I'm gonna score it. So I'm running my uh, scoring tool. It's not working. 
along the cutting groove. So you can see it made a score line right like that. Then I'm going to cut this. I'm going to give myself probably oh, about that much. So that's about a quarter of an inch, I think, or half an inch, probably half an inch. I'm going to cut that there. And then I'm going to cut this down. Okay. Very easy to make um, these flaps. Very easy. And it's going to go right here. This picture, when I put it in, is going to go on top of it. So I'm put it, going to put the flap in first. And I'm going to just glue it in, but I'm also going to, I think, put washi tape on it. Okay. I had to make sure it was going in the right direction. So it's hard to do. I don't have anything. This paper is a little bit bigger than some of the other papers. So it's sticking out and there's nothing underneath to push down on, you know. And I have, I have some washi tapes picked out that I've been using um, that I thought would go. So I'm just grabbing one of them. The washi tape's not necessary. I just thought it'd give it a little bit of decor and some added strength to hold that down like that. There. This is going to go here. This will be for journaling. And if I do want to find another picture, I can put it here, which I think I might do that. Yeah. Or I could journal here. Maybe I could journal and identify the people in the pictures. Um, you know, I've got I've got group pictures, and sometimes, you know, I look back on this and it's like, what was that person's name again? What was that person's name again? <laughs> it's only been a year, so I should remember everybody's names, and I think that I will. But I think I'm going to. Cut this picture down just a little bit, not a whole lot, but it's not going to take away the anything from the picture if I do, but I want to mat it on a different color, I think. So this place that we went, I forget the name of it, but it was a... a an ancient place of healing and the ancient ancient Greece ancient Greeks geez cannot speak believed that healing was not only a physical thing but also a mental thing um, they were so right and so at these healing centers and places they had they they promoted physical well-being and should I do that? I mean, it's, I'm just grabbing what's here. Goes with this. Yeah, just do it there. So there were stadiums. Um, like everywhere you went, there were stadiums and they were for sporting events. And also, so that benefited the athletes, but it also benefited the um, spectators because it, you know, brought a feeling of uh, joy and happiness to them to 
that's messed up, to watch the athletes. <clears throat> they also did a lot of um, plays, theatrical stuff. These stadiums were all made of um, stone, either like limestone or um, um, marble. They were so slippery. Okay. And um, so to go up the the steps on the stadium was very, very treacherous. And I didn't go up them because I don't feel like slipping. I, all, I just had sneakers on. And um, yeah, I, I wasn't about to go up and fall and break a stinking hip while I'm in Greece. That would not have, that would not have been good. Not that I'm old, frail, and feeble. I, you know, I do pretty well, but I'm a Florida hiker. We don't have um, hills and lots of steps and things like that here. So I'm not used to that kind of climbing. So I didn't, I didn't do it. I, I played it safe. But the kids, the kids all went up to the top of this stadium. I don't have a picture of them at the top. I'll have, that's what I'll have to put in here. Um, the kids all went to the top. Alyssa didn't. She went halfway. And she, she was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> so, it was very, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, cheap. You've probably not seen, like, anything that I've been doing, have you? It's, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. This is, like, I don't know why I can't get my camera right. I think I may need to invest in a new holder or something, because something's happening. <laughs> and we're just really just about out of time anyway. So... I think that I'm going to have to wrap it up for video purposes. I'm going to keep working because I'm kind of on a roll. So that's going to go there. I'll do the same thing on this side and put this on a thing and that'll go there. And I have room for journaling and room for another picture if I want another picture. Um, I might need to leave some space for the name of the, the name of it. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Okay, so wrapping it up. If you want to go from a small journal into a big journal, don't be afraid to do it. Just go ahead and start taking your stuff out. My advice, my advice is make make your bigger journal first so you know what you're dealing with. And then go page by page and transfer everything from the small journal into the big journal. Don't worry about ripping up your paper. Try to save it, but if you can't, don't stress about it. In my case, I only used one signature in here, so the, the whole other signature is intact, and this one, this one will, I'll take it out, I'll salvage what I can, and I'll make a new signature for it. It's simple as that it's it's not don't stress about it because it's it'll work out so my next one is, are going to be these this um this town tolo where we went our hotel and um yeah we got i got things to do so that's what i'm working on um i will do a final flip through probably when it's all done just um, to put it out there so you can see it. And um, that's it, I guess. So don't be afraid. Just jump in and do it. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.